Our last conversation around partnership for this show, anyway, is about Rakuten, Symphony, Intel, and Juniper Networks, who are lasering in on simplifying open RAN deployments at scale. Let's hear about it, Ron. Yes. Uh what Rakuten Symphony is uh, advocating is the use of what they're branding uh, Simware. And basically, it's a, a multi-purpose edge appliance that can fast track open RAN uh, deployments. And, you know, obviously, uh, that's pretty much integral to you know, their whole uh, corporate mission. Uh, but what's interesting about this particular uh, offering is that it combines containerized cell site routing with containerized DU or distributed unit capabilities on a single platform. And so this is clearly something that operators can, you know, uh, really appreciate uh, is that it's really streamlining the open RAN challenges. And it's also in the same beat, allowing them to uh, get away from the proprietary RAN implementations where basically the vendor was able to drive more of what you can do and can't do with the technology. Obviously with open RAN, the operators will have more mix and match capabilities, uh, more, you know, bargaining leverage quite simply when it comes to uh, enabling uh, 5G capabilities. But there's a host of other uh, benefits uh, ranging from uh, being able to use open APIs in a more flexible fashion or scalability uh, and, and so forth. It's just a host of uh, built-in advantages. And I think uh, what's important about this uh, relationship is that uh, Intel's, uh, specifically uh, their uh, Xeon D processor and FlexRAN technology is really uh, what's enabling this consolidation onto the single server. Uh, right. So that's really a feather in the cap for Intel, which just had its you know Intel Innovation Week, and uh, clearly you know, Intel is going to have a major influence in how Open RAN is deployed across uh, the five G ecosystem. And the shows like Intel can definitely innovate when it comes to you know meeting uh, these uh, very rigorous uh, demands. And Juniper's contribution is significant because I was pointing out earlier the Simverse platform also integrates cell site routing. And right. the ability to actually integrate that into a platform versus having to rely on all these traditional routers, it just you know makes sense. You know, you can consolidate all of these uh, components, uh, all these devices onto a single platform, but also have a controller flexibility and a lot more uh, distributed networking capabilities, disaggregation benefits, and so forth. So yeah, it's uh, it's a really uh, I think. Uh, a compelling uh, combination. I think this is the kind of uh, partnership that can, you know, uh, really uh, drive uh, the competitive fires out there. Yeah. Because as we know, Rakuten's already in 20 other networks, including Dish here right. in the U.S. So this is something that we definitely need to pay attention to, let alone, you know, the traditional uh, suppliers consisting of Nokia, Ericsson, Samsung. Right. Obviously, they have a close eye on what Rakuten's up uh, to with the Symphony unit. And uh, this is, uh, I think, a good reason why. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, all of this is really focused on something that's pretty simple. What mobile operators need most right now? Yes. And that's agility and it's smart security and it's new levels of automation capabilities and a and a more broad more secure supply chain you know and so that's the the beauty of these solutions and that's you know they're addressing these very real needs and so it's exciting to see partnerships like this yes uh yeah let software reign uh, that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure